Shalom, Shmi Yafalari. My name is Yafalari. 30 years ago, I've opened this beauty salon, Yelat Chen, especially for ultra-Orthodox Jewish women who live under a strict modesty code. Here we have a secret entrance door, a hidden one. Some ultra-Orthodox women prefer not to be publicly seen when they're visiting a beauty salon. The religious women, they do very little makeup for the outside when they go to work, um, when they go for events, but at home when the husband comes, it's an obligation to take a shower, to put some makeup, um, even more than uh, for the outside. Uh, here we do also a uh, permanent makeup. The permanent makeup for religious women is very important because uh, we are not allowed to put makeup in Shabbat. Shabbat is Saturday. On Shabbat, for many, many years, I never put on any makeup on Shabbat, and I felt like a pale face, and it was very hard for me. And when I discovered the Shabbat makeup, it really made a big difference for me. I feel different. I feel that I have that extra touch, and I go out of the house feeling better, and because I feel better, I stand straighter, and my clothes hang better on me, and I smile more, and it really makes me feel great. I'm not an expert in all the uh, halachot, but you know that if you come to here, they are experts, and they know what you're allowed to do and what not to do, and I... A hundred percent rely on Yafa to guide me. Um, I think there are a lot of changes going on in the Haredi uh, society today. More uh, men are going out to work than they were before. There is a small project that's grown bigger where some of the uh, Haredi youth are going into special units in the army. I think in general you see that the Haredi world is becoming more exposed to the general world. On the first year that I've opened the salon, I had so many limitations and restrictions. My business was constantly under inspection because they wanted to know that I could really fit in in this community. They would call and show up unexpectedly at the salon to check whether I was really up to their standards and rules. Even the word cosmetics was considered as immodest back then. And today, thank God, every two meters on this religious street, we have about six to eight different beauty salons. Thank you.